All right, I want to talk about Anthony Richardson for a second, get into some film and talk about just who he is as a player. He's such a unique prospect, someone who, while some people have made certain comparisons to, like a Josh Allen, and I can certainly see the comparison, also Malik Willis, another guy people have brought up, I understand both of those. Every player is their own player, and you do have to evaluate each person and what they are. And what's so interesting about him is that there isn't really a great blueprint uh, in, of past players that are like him. There isn't a lot of similar Anthony Richardsons out there as prospects, so it's hard to project what's going to happen in the future. I want to start off with this play because there's one narrative that I would kind of like to just uh, say I disagree with right off the bat. And it's that like Anthony Richardson is like a dumb player or a raw player. His football IQ needs tuning. I really don't see that on tape. I think he's certainly someone who could use some more reps. I can see that. But to me, he is someone who's I think has figured out at least some of the intricate details that come into the quarterback position and certainly does not seem any more raw than uh, in terms of the football IQ side of things than any other of these quarterbacks coming out of college. And this play is a good example of some small things I think he, he does well and some subtleties in his game that I think work where it's going to be a cover three zone. So you have a single safety deep here. Watch as, you know, you see him take the snap and he looks downfield and he's kind of looking towards his left a little bit and you see how it's affecting the safety. The safety is definitively moving towards the the bottom of the screen. That is what Richardson is uh, trying to do here. That's what the goal of what Richardson is doing is. So then when Richardson goes back towards the, his right, he's able to make a throw and they pick up a, a chunk play there. So that's what Richardson attempts, you know, I think that's what Richardson successfully does at times is he... It just understands the mental side of the game. I really do. That's how I view him when I watch his tape. Again, are there things that he could fix? Sure, but it doesn't seem any more obvious than any of the other players. There's little, you know, mental things you got to work on, but that's just being a young quarterback. And there's no denying that when he makes his throws, they look incredible. His highlight reel, if you're just going off of highlight reels, you're thinking he should be drafted first overall because his highlight reel is very impressive. Something like this is a good example. Watch how when Richardson takes a snap, he runs the play action. It's going to roll out, throw off balance, and make a very accurate throw relatively far down the field. Richardson has uh, a cannon of an arm, quite frankly. No one has more zip on his passes. It's an issue, actually, at times. Richardson's zip, uh, he... Uh, sometimes it gets, uh, you know, too zippy, throws it too hard. That actually happens a little bit too often. But those are definite positives in his game, I would say. And at times, it looks really impressive. But other times, you see stuff like this. And the reality is, this is what you see the majority of the time, which is you have a player who's going over the middle, zone coverage. That's how this works. As you see, Richardson takes the snap. He is going to, you know, uh, first was looking somewhere else. Don't really know why he got off that read necessarily. But at the same time, I kind of do now that I see it because uh, you have a wide open player further down the field. So uh, while he could have thrown to the kind of more underneath player, hey, there's someone more open or someone who's at least as open, but further down the field, probably the smart play to go there. However, this throw, it's just, uh, you know, it was a cannon, but it was a cannon that missed its target, which is not the goal. You want to be able to be accurate, and sometimes being accurate is better than having a cannon of an arm. Not always, actually, but sometimes it is. Usually it is, and in this case, it was, and the reality is his accuracy is it's a mess, quite frankly. He might be the least accurate quarterback I've ever evaluated. Like, this plays another example. We're just going to be a go route. That's all that's happening. The receiver runs a deep route. Uh, you can, this is all timing. It's all accuracy. I mean, everyone thinks when they, you think go route on the outside, you think arm strength. But accuracy is the number one trait with this stuff. Because if you're in the NFL, you can throw the ball 50 yards. So it's accuracy that really matters. And watch how Richardson, again, uses his eyes well, looked off, got the safety out of position, and then missed the throw. I mean, that's just what happened, and it happened a ton, where the reality is, these aren't even his worst uh, offenders when it comes to accuracy. He made some throws that made me wonder who he was even throwing it to, and I, I feel, you know, some of them might have been miscommunications, but some of them did not look like it. It looked like he just completely whiffed on a ton of throws. The accuracy is, it's just an issue. It is. Going over here, again, there's subtle things I like in his game. Something like this, it's zone coverage. You see the route that he wants to throw to. It could work, but it's essentially going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup. 
Richardson takes the snap. He's going to, again, not look over there right away. Does a very good job of that, making sure he gets safeties out of position. Love that stuff from him. At this point, his receiver is just starting to break, and you see him, he's into throwing motion. This is good stuff from Richardson. Richardson does make the throw, and he is able to get a completion there. So that's good stuff. Uh, one thing I didn't even show on film, but it's very true. This guy is an incredible runner of the football. That goes without saying. I mean, we you know we saw his forty time. You see his size. I mean, he's built like he's legitimately built like a defensive lineman. I mean, he what six four, two hundred and thirty pounds, and, and he's only twenty one as well. So there's definitely reason to believe he could get better. So if Richardson gets Malik Willis comparisons, uh, on you know on the downside, those are his negative comparisons, which I don't think it's totally fair to completely give up on Malik Willis. He didn't look great as a rookie, but we kind of figured he'd be a project. But still, if those are the comparisons, I will say something that I said about Malik Willis, which is, well, I don't, he's not a perfect prospect. I will defend whichever team drafts him. And I kind of feel similar about Richardson. I do think he's worth the risk, even though the reality is, as of right now, I don't think he's an NFL player. I mean, that seems like those are two contradictory statements, but I really don't think it is. Again, this might come down to a, how much do you trust your just development process? How much do you trust your quarterback coach and all that stuff? And I would really, if I'm evaluating these uh, you know, guys and I am a GM, what I'm doing is I'm going to the person who knows the most about mechanics that I can uh, talk to and say, are there mechanical issues? I noticed some like footwork issues. Again, when it comes to throwing motion, that stuff is really difficult to figure out entirely. S sometimes it's obvious, like, I don't know, you know, Kyle Trask, you could tell, okay, his throwing motion has some issues. Uh, when, when it comes to Richardson, there might be some little things that people can point towards and say, hey, he needs to fix this stuff. Uh, if, you, if you have that kind of a trained eye to that stuff, I would certainly talk to those people and say, is there issues? Is there a way you can fix uh, his accuracy potentially by fixing his throwing motion? Because that's what happened with Josh Allen, right? He did a lot of, he had a lot of mechanical issues that he fixed after his second year. That was a big thing that he talked about was how much he put into fixing his throwing motion. And that's why we saw the big jump in accuracy from him. He's kind of the one player that, uh, you know, we've seen that from, you know, Malik Willis is much more accurate than either of those two guys were in college. So it's, uh, you know, while I get the comparison, uh, it's a little bit different. The comparison is in prospects, you know, prospects both upside, but also serious concerns. Richardson uh, has the upside and has the serious concerns. Personally, I will defend whichever team drafts Richardson. I will. Unless you draft him first or second overall, I think that Bryce Young and uh, and CJ Stroud, to me, are ahead of Richardson. I, that's just how I view it. However, I do think that Richardson, uh, you know, if you have him number three on your board, I totally understand it. I'm not going to tell you where I have him on my board, waiting for the podcast when I do all that stuff, but, you know, I am t giving you hints as to how I view him. Because, again, there's issues. I mean, there really is. But to me, the accuracy thing is the issue. That's the concern I have. And we have seen people fix it. But this is just why evaluating quarterbacks is hard. And why when people say, man, how do the, you know, these people always screw up quarterback evaluations? If you're someone who watches this channel and says, how is Jackson? Uh, why did he think Herbert was going to suck? Why did he think that Zach Wilson was going to be awesome? Well, because really very few quarterbacks are finished products by the time they get into the NFL. Very few are finished products by the time they've played several years in the NFL. And so, like, is his accuracy going to improve? It's really impossible to say, and I think that there's a chance it does, and there's a chance it doesn't. And the reality is, you know, how much do you trust your ability in developing that aspect of his game? If the answer is a lot, then draft him absolutely if the uh, you know answer is we don't think it can be fixed then obviously don't draft him and if you think maybe we can fix it it's probably worth the upside because if you can get him to be good you might have a cam newton situation on your hands you really might so yeah those are kind of my thoughts on richardson what do you guys think let me know in the comments below always love hearing from y'all and of course as always thanks for watching